Hey there, SEMT family. Uh, good to be with you today. It is Friday. It is March the 4th. Friday, March the 4th, right? And uh, so a whole new month, a uh, whole new week. It's the beginning of Lent and uh, I hope that you are enjoying the sunshine today and looking forward to a good weekend hand. Just wanted, as we start a new month, just wanna bring you up to date on a couple of things. One, thank you so much for those of you who are active members and took the time to uh, vote uh, for our annual meeting process. And the results of that are down below in your in your e-bulletin, but very thankful for God's provision for us uh, through 2021 and, uh, and the way forward through 2022. And looking forward to serving with our new team, uh, our leadership team, uh, the governing board, uh, as uh, been affirmed by uh, you, the membership. And so, thank you uh, for again for your support uh, in prayer and in participation and your faithfulness in uh, tithes and offerings, uh, giving towards the work that God is doing here in our community. And that's one of the reasons why I'm standing here in this entrance, the south entrance by the gym. Uh, it's an entrance that maybe a lot of you haven't seen um, in some time, but let me just tell you that as uh, restrictions have been uh, alleviated or changed or opened up a little bit, um, we've had a, uh, it's been a, a great uh, opportunity for us to begin to see the building in use again. And one of the partnerships that we're really excited about is with a group called Roca Basketball, Roca Elite Basketball Academy. And uh, they do some excellent instruction in, uh, in basketball skills, but also I think one of the things that, uh, that are important is they teach high, they uh, emphasize high character quality in the athletes that they're, they're training. And so from little guys to, uh, to older students, um, they work with them all. And so they're here a couple of nights a week and we're looking forward to how God's gonna use that to complement uh, what we already do with Upward and uh, look forward to Upward coming again next year. And so that's uh, just another means by which we are continuing to, uh, to build bridges uh, into our community and uh, really appreciate getting to know uh, the uh, founders and coaches of, uh, of ROCA. Um, so check them out and, uh, and Perhaps you know some people who might be interested in that and they offer different segments uh, over the course of the year. So they'll be here most of, uh, throughout most of the year, which is really cool. Um, and then the other big thing I wanted to mention to you is uh, our emphasis this month, the month of March, will be with the Sexual, Sexual Assault Survivors Center. And uh, some of you may know some sobering news, uh, perhaps, that uh, the increase of domestic violence um, there's been a significant increase in domestic violence throughout the pandemic. And now certainly as uh, opportunity is given to meet with clients in person uh, rather than over Zoom, uh, more is being disclosed. And so the needs are tremendously high uh, over the course of this time. And so what we'd like to do is uh, anything that is given uh, to our benevolence fund uh, through the month of March, will be forwarded to the Sexual Assault Survivor Center. And, uh, and so, um, and they will primarily use those to buy uh, grocery cards and gas cards. So you could also donate those to us if you want. Uh, but the other thing, if you, if maybe that's not something that you can do very practically, even if you're at the dollar store or something to buy a couple of journals, uh, because those are useful for, um, for their clients as well. And uh, there might be some other things uh, that we'll add to the list as some, as the month goes on, but just so you know, um, it's uh, we need to help uh, one another as, uh, as things emerge and stories uh, begin to be told to be able to listen in and, and provide help where needed. Um, and as for us, as in terms of um, how things change on Sundays as you come into our sanctuary. Uh, not too much is going to change right now. Um, so we still need to wear masks in the building and we, we need, still need to wear masks while singing. That's the recommendation. So it's important to note that our capacity limits, uh, we, can, uh, we can increase the number of people seated in the sanctuary. But what we're going to do is just uh, slowly add some seats as 
uh, as these weeks unfold, uh, keeping in mind that uh, different people will, will uh, have different comfort levels as, it, as far as it goes in terms of reintegrating in a large group format. And so we wanna be sensitive to one another in that. And we recognize that even after mask mandates end, there'll be peop some people who would prefer to keep their masks on. And so we wanna be also uh, sensitive towards that, that um, and to respect uh, their, their desire to do so. Uh, but uh, so important that we honor one another as a reflection of our love for love for the Lord. And, uh, and so thank you again for the way in which you as an SEMC family and an extended family have done that one to another uh, uh, as, a, as a commitment um, and a demonstration of God's love. Uh, and that is, that's not to be taken for granted uh, because we know that's not the case in many places. And so that's one thing we do treasure for sure. Well, there's, uh, there's a lot of other things that are happening. Uh, we're looking forward to junior high tonight and uh, senior high will be back on Sunday and, uh, and a lot of things in between um, coming up and take, so make sure you check that out in our e-bulletin and let's continue to pray for our world. Uh, and uh, there's so much need, so much devastation, hard to wrap our heads around it. And, uh, and so let's uh, be patient with one another as well. And let's take time to listen and help one another through all of this. That's it for now. Uh, keep well, wash your hands, and let's go make a kingdom difference. Okay, see ya.